Welcome to the St. Michael Easter podcast series. My name is Greg Pickens, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is Big Love. God's holy work is fulfilled in the resurrection of Christ, the defeat of death itself. We have received the gift of new life and can use that gift to spread God's big love to those near and far. Joining Christians everywhere during this Easter season, we proclaim with joy, Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. A reading from Luke chapter 7. Then, turning towards the woman, Jesus said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house, and you gave me no water for my feet, but she has bathed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which are many, have been forgiven. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. Then he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. But those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? And Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Here ends the reading. The Easter season is a time of the church year that is set aside for renewal. And part of that renewal is to assure we have the basics of our discipleship in place. Jesus was invited to gather in a house. Immediately, those who knew Jesus came to him, and at least one person was trying to make him comfortable. Of course, Jesus notices this slight, and he calls out the owner of the house. Jesus wonders aloud why he was not greeted in the customary way. Why were there gathered so many who clearly did not like him? Is this some sort of trap? Many times we will want to start our faith journey anew, to clear away some practices that do not gain us ground in our spiritual endeavors. We do this so we can begin again with the Lord. This is common and can be quite healthy to invite the Lord into our open hearts once again to invite the Lord into a heart that is hospitable for his redeeming work. Easter is a time to give ourselves to the Lord, truly prepare a place for him, a place where he can be adored as ruler of our lives, or he can lead us to a greater bond with himself. Take some time this week and see if there are any old habits that might keep you from giving yourself wholly to Jesus. Confess these and allow him to fill you again with his life-giving spirit. Amen. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, Grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <music>